Corn is big. Cornfields take up 90 million acres in the U.S., but for most of the time, cornfields are left completely barren. On top of wasting space, this is a huge issue because nothing is left to hold down the topsoil, which is a really important type of nutrient-rich soil. It takes hundreds of years to make a single inch of topsoil, and without any roots to anchor it in place, it just blows away in the wind. And we're expected to lose 16% in the next century. And corn isn't the only plant with this problem. But what if we planted something during the off-season? Better yet, what if that plant had another use, like making biofuels for use in sustainable aviation? Introducing Pennycrest, which is up to 93% efficient at oil production. But since it hasn't really been domesticated yet, it's very reactive to stressful conditions. So like, if it detects competition, it might try to flower early to create seeds before its competitors, but that results in a reduced yield. Or if it flowers later, it might overlap with the corn season. And farmers aren't willing to compromise on their corn. So researchers at the Nusenau lab at the Donald Danforth Plant Science Center are trying to prevent pennycrest from underperforming when it senses competition. But how does it even know? Is it just when there's shade? Turns out, plants can actually tell the difference between foliar shade and normal shade. Plants absorb wavelengths of visible light, but not including far red light, which just passes through the leaves. By measuring the ratio of far red light to red light, plants can tell when they have neighbors to worry about. So the Nusenau lab is targeting a gene, PIF7, which is involved in Pennycrest's response to foliar shade, as well as heat stress. Here is what Pennycrest normally looks like under normal conditions, heat stress, and far red light. Now look at what happens when PIF7 is removed. Since each plant is growing more densely, we can plant more in a field and make more seeds and more biofuels. This is just one example of the incredible research being done in Pennycrest improvement, which could revolutionize sustainable agriculture. Stay tuned to learn more about the awesome work being done in biotechnology in St. Louis.